that was cool. Am I right? And that was only made possible because Autonomous, Autonomous.ai, I'm gonna link them in the description and this exact chair, but they sent me this chair. I cannot thank them enough because it's super comfortable. It's freaking awesome. And look at this. I can freaking, you know, wow. adjust these and like this stuff. Whoa! Wow. This chair is freaking awesome, guys. So if you wanna be a gangster, like, cringe if you just they sent me the chair they're they're a good company just go check the check the stuff they have out thank you again for sending me the chair yo what up programmers i decided to make this video because i'm interviewing for a bunch of companies and a bunch of software engineering positions right now and i figured it's a good video so I could tell you how I'm planning to study for my coding interviews. So if you're studying for coding interviews right now, then you might want to listen to what I'm going to say and you could follow along with what I'm doing or you can just maybe take pieces of it. Anyways, I applied to so many jobs, upwards of a thousand. Uh, I can't even apply on AngelList anymore because I hit the maximum application limit. But I'm going to be going through a ton of different kinds of interviews just because I applied to startups, mid-sized, top companies, like every company. So I have to prepare for a little bit of everything. That includes the standard interview process of algorithms, data structures, questions uh, with systems design, but also I have to prepare for stuff like object-oriented coding, uh, architecture questions, what if you were in this scenario questions, maybe some database questions. So keep in mind, I am preparing for a little bit of everything. So what I've come up with is a one month plan. I will break this month into four weeks. So week by week, it will change. Now I will be using Leet Code because Leet Code is the best platform for studying for coding interviews. Like, believe it or not, you know. And first week, I'm going to do five easy questions a day. So week one. Five easy questions a day. And this is every day I'm talking about. Weeks two and three, I will be doing three medium questions a day. And on the final fourth week, I will do one hard question a day. So in total, that is five easy questions a day for seven days, 35 easy questions. Two weeks of three medium questions a day. That is 42 medium questions. And one hard question a day for seven days, that is seven hard questions. This is, believe it or not, on the lighter side if I was going for Fang, but I luckily have done over 300 questions in the past. I just need, I lost that information because it was so long ago and I need to kind of uh, get familiar with concepts and questions again. So I'll be reiterating over questions I don't remember as much and uh, focusing on a lot of stuff I'm not as familiar with, more like dynamic programming, backtracking, and uh, bit manipulation. So the leak code will take on average two to three hours a day. In combination with that, I will be watching YouTube videos, uh, getting familiar with old concepts, like I said, but uh, a lot of systems design stuff, a lot of architecture stuff, stuff about data pipelines, load balancing databases, um, a lot of microservices, latest technologies, because I apply to so many different places and uh, it's good to know about you know what technologies you could use to build a system and what you would want to do uh, with modern technologies. That's gonna be that's gonna come in handy in a lot of interviews, I would assume. So I'll probably spend around two hours a day watching YouTube videos and just learning and listening to other people. Two to three hours of lead code so far, two hours of YouTube. Also, one hour of code forces. I am starting at a base level of competitive programming. I suck right now. Code forces isn't based on interview prep. It does, the whole platform is not about getting you a job. But the questions are very similar to those on Lee Code. It's just not all about big O notation. 
It's, um, you know, me- you have memory and time constraints and you do use algorithms and data structures to solve problems though. So I'm doing that just as a change of pace. Uh, it helps me build a skill, get respect. I think uh, just talking about how you do that in an interview or having that on your resume, if you could build that up, might be good in the future. And it does help doing those questions uh, get, you know, nail things into your head so i'm doing one hour of that a day as well that is mainly how i will be studying for my coding interviews which i'm in the phone interview stage right now with a bunch of companies but they will be coming up soon on top of those things i will be mixing it up day to day with a few other things like uh, i might code a few data structures look over for the code, look over the methods, look over the runtimes for the methods. I will be doing a couple language things, maybe one of the language paths on HackerRank to get back up to date with the languages. And then last but not least, one of the most important things I need to do is mock interviews with actual engineers or programmers. I do want to get familiar with talking to engineers in talking as if I'm in an interview setting because talking with my friends Uh, is a lot different than talking to a potential person that's going to hire you uh, or trying to get someone to like you, uh, trying to get someone to make you think that you're smart. I'm not doing that with my friends, um, so I have to get used to that. I'm going to use Pramp for that. Uh, and I'm going to use maybe my Discord. I'm going to, I, that's what I did last time. I did mock interviews with, um, people in my Discord. So I might do some of those, you know, I'll do them with you guys if you guys want to, maybe a few of you, not like a million, but, um, some mock interviews, good to get talking, good to practice the interview talk. Cause that's just as important as being smart. So that is my one month plan. It revolves around learning new things and going over stuff, watching YouTube, a lot of YouTube, um, and doing a lot of leak code. Start out with the easy ones first week to get comfortable, build confidence, go over the concepts slowly, and then ramp up to mediums, two weeks straight of mediums, and then finish it off with some hard ones. Should be getting pretty comfortable. Uh, with leak code by then but really just knocking out easy 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 for the week will you know just building blocks build that stuff up you know so if you guys want to follow along with me uh, if you guys are trying to get jobs I have public leak code account uh, I think my username is white 105 and I have a public code forces account Nick white just Nick white um so you know, follow along with me. I'm starting this program on Monday, so I'm posting this on Friday. Um, and this pro, I'm gonna be putting this into effect on Monday. So I'm gonna have GitHub repos with my solutions for my code forces. That's gonna be an hour a day if you want to follow along with those. And um, I'm gonna be doing leak code for yeah, you know, like I said, my whole program. So follow along with me on leak code as well. That's it. That's my study guide. Let me know in the comments how you guys are studying. If you're studying, if you're not, then you're not. Uh, I don't know what to say to you if you're not. Uh, Let me know if I'm missing anything that I might want to go over, but I think that's about it. I did a bunch of interviews last time. I applied to so many companies that I'm just going to get practice by interviewing with the companies too. That's really great. That's a good reason to apply to a lot of them, but um, that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say. I was telling you my plan. So if you want to join, then join in on the fun. It's actually not good. It's probably going to be misery. It's, I'll be learning. It's not good. I, I don't think it'll be fun, though. But hey, it's what you got to do. All right, that's it. Possibly a bunch of educational content coming up since I'm studying anyway. So boom, 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 boom. All right, see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Peace.